Welcome to Niagara Falls. What a beautiful view. What's up everybody? This is KG. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the iVlog 4 smartphone video kit made by Movo. For those of you who have already been watching my previous videos on how to up your YouTube game using different types of gadgets, you may have seen that I bought different items and put them together to create little video filming sets. Now the cool thing about this iVlog 4 set is that everything comes in one package. So I don't have to buy anything separately. I can put it all together and have a professional studio style filming set with my smartphone. The people at Movo actually reached out to me and saw the videos that I was doing previously. And that's why they recommended this kit to me and sent it to me to test it out and give my opinion on it. So let's open it up and have a look. And the first thing you see right away is an instruction booklet. And underneath the instruction booklet looks like the kit, the full kit. So this is a nice looking carrying case. It has a handle on it on the top, zipper. And on the side it shows the Movo logo on it. And it's quite compact. If you're a person who travels a lot, definitely easy to use, easy to carry and take with you wherever you're going. Let's open it up. And here you go, this is the full package here. So right away, just looking at some of the items, looks like the microphone, a cloth probably for cleaning the lenses. In this bottom corner here, we got three different plugs. It looks like a mic to mic and another mic to mic, and then a USB to your phone charger hookup. This I believe here is a wide angle lens that I'm gonna take out. And if you take the lid off, still has a sticker over it but this is a wide angle lens for your smartphone a square shape led light an extension rod and it looks like these two items here are a sender and receiver for the microphone so you got these two items right here and then you got your smartphone mount and attached with it comes a remote so you can take photos from far away and you can probably pair it via bluetooth a tripod over here which we'll put together in a moment. And lastly, the coolest part, for me at least, is this fancy cage. This cage comes in here to give you a whole bunch of accessories and hookup options. So if you look on there, you already have holes here, here, holes on the bottom, all different areas, and the cold shoe mounts on top to attach different elements into this cage and make it into one cool vlogging kit. Then in this top section here, you got a few additional items. In this bag, it might be hard to see, but there's some attachments for cold shoe mounts, some covers for your microphone so the wind doesn't affect it. This little item here looks like to put stuff around your wrist if you need to. And this clip thing right here, which is for attaching the lens to your smartphone and a Movo sticker. So let's try piecing this together now. Okay, so the first two items I'm gonna show you are the tripod and the extension rod that comes with it. So first of all, I just wanna say this tripod feels really sturdy. It's a little bit heavy, it's a heavy duty item. It doesn't feel cheap at all. It feels like a very good quality tripod. Now this knob over here, when you loosen it, it allows you to move the head and put it in whatever position you want and then you can tighten it to lock. And then if you look over here, you have two different settings for how wide you wanna be able to open up your tripod base. So you can twist this to this section or this section. And if you look underneath here, it actually puts a little red piece of metal in the way or it moves it out of the way. So that allows you to either make it wider or a little bit less wide when you open it up. So let's make it on the widest setting. Okay, so now you can pull it apart, all three sides. Make sure you fully open it up to the max so that it sits properly. And when you place it down, it sits nice and sturdy. You can readjust the top if you want. And there you go, you have your tripod sitting there very nicely. Now, if you need to use the extension rod, you can take off this top section here. Just unscrew it, like so. And you can screw this extension rod on. You tighten it up, and there you go. You have an extension rod on here. And then you loosen this part over here and you can actually extend it or shrink it to the height you want. So if I bring it down and tighten it, 
So I have a small extension. Then you can actually put this piece back on top again. So you can have functionality with angles and being able to play with it on top. So again, here you go. This is with the full extension piece on and you could use it this way as well. So here I have the next two items which are the cage and the smartphone holder itself. When you're putting this together, the first thing you wanna do is put the smartphone holder into the cage itself. Again, this is a sturdy piece of equipment. It feels nice and strong. It's a metal with rubber around it. So if you look at the smartphone mount, the cool thing about it is it comes with bubble levels on it. So if you look here, you have a bubble level here, one direction, and at the bottom for the vertical level, you also have another bubble level there in case you wanna move the phone around in different directions. So if you're keen on making sure that everything is straight, you can use these levels to help you out. This back piece here, when you loosen it, it allows you to rotate this around. And then when you have it in the position you want, you can tighten it back up. And to put your phone in, you actually use this. And as you unscrew, it becomes wider. And when you screw it back in, it gets tighter. So it actually is not a spring-loaded one, which most of these smartphone holders are spring-loaded. This actually just has a screw that goes up and down. And by using that, you tighten your phone into this holder. So on the bottom of the smartphone holder is a screw hole. And on the bottom of the cage here is a screw point. So I'm gonna put this in together right now. So I'll screw it in. And just tighten it up to the level that I want it. And here you go. So your cage is set up with your smartphone holder already in it. And that will attach on top of the tripod. So here's the tripod, here's the bottom of the cage. And I screw this in at the bottom. And let me turn it around. And if you look at it right here in this position, you have the cage set up, the tripod set up, and the smartphone holder set up and everything can attach from here on out. Okay, the next item I wanna show you is the LED light that comes with this kit. It comes with 49 LED lights in it, and I find that it is quite powerful for a little small light like this. If I turn it around to the back side, on the back side you will see there's an on-off switch here in the corner. There's a mode button, which I've played with it a little bit, I'm not sure exactly what it does, and then plus minus over here which allows you to increase or decrease the power of the LED light. Now in the instruction booklet, it tells me that it's between 5500K plus or minus 200, which means that's the brightness there. So 5500 is a pretty white colored light. I'll turn it on to show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna put it on at an angle here, and then it goes up four or five different levels. So let's try it out. There, that's the brightest it goes. And then when I push the mode button, I don't know if you notice any difference, I just pushed it, pushed it again. I can't really tell any difference, but definitely in the plus minus, you can see the different brightness levels. And then when you need to charge it, there is an area in here where this specific USB hookup here, and this end goes into the LED light here and then you put the USB in into a USB charger and you can charge this LED when you need to. The other cool thing about it, it has a cold shoe on three sides. This is the top, right and left side. They all have cold shoe mounts in them. So you can attach it in many different locations. And on the bottom, it also has a cold shoe mount and a screw. So you have multiple ways to attach this to your cage or wherever else you wanna use it for that matter. So in this case, let's open it up and I'll attach it onto the cage using the cold shoe mount. So let's slide it right in and tighten it up. And there you go, it's attached to the cold shoe mount and it's on the cage right now. So it's coming together little by little. Okay, the next item I wanna discuss is the wireless lavalier microphone. So right here, this is the actual microphone. It's a tiny little microphone that plugs into the transmitter. And you have a transmitter and you have a receiver. So if I bring both of these close, this is your transmitter, this is your receiver. They look almost the same. They both come with clips on the back to clip into your belt or wherever 
on the receiver end, most likely you're gonna have to switch this out to a cold shoe mount so that you can put it onto your cage. The other thing is that both of them run on AAA batteries. So if you look here on the inside, you have to put two AAA batteries to make this baby run. And this one, the receiver and the transmitter. So make sure you add those in. So along with those, we have the other accessories. You get two of these nice puffy windscreens. So they give you two in case something happens to one, you can still use the other one. And these things protect from when, when it's windy, the microphone won't pick up the wind, it will just pick up your voice. And you also get two of these clips that clip onto the mic itself. And then you can attach it onto your t-shirt or wherever you're wearing it so that you can attach your mic. So they give you two of each, which is nice in case you lose one or something happens to one, you got an extra one. Now this is the extra cold shoe that goes on the back. So for the receiver, when you wanna put it onto your cage, you gotta take off that clip that's on the back. So you've gotta slide this clip off the back first. As such, it comes off. And then in place of it, you can slide this guy back in as such and click it into place. There. So now you've got this on the back and you can put it onto your cage. Now if you're hooking up your receiver to the smartphone, We've got a special plug that comes here that goes into the line out portion of the receiver. And then this one here, if you can see it has three black lines, one, two, three. Those three black line ones, that's designed to go specifically into your headphone jack of your smartphone. Also, they're nice enough to have a little sticker on here that says smartphone so you know this side connects into the smartphone. And on the side that goes into your receiver, it just says microphone. Now if for some reason you're using a camcorder or you're not using a smartphone, they have another double jack. And this one you can see it has two black lines on both of them and it's meant to plug in directly to a camcorder or an audio recording device or something like that. So if you don't have a smartphone, they give you an alternative hookup. And of course if you have the lavalier microphone, you gotta put that one on the transmitter. So you've got a point to hook up from right here and that goes into the microphone section up here. So you can plug that in and then you can start using this device. So for the demo portion, I'm just gonna hook up the receiver and the cold shoe mount of the cage so you can see a full setup when it's complete. So let's open this up, slide it into the cold shoe mount and we can tighten it up. So now if we turn this around, you can see we have on the top of the cage our LED light and we have our microphone. Lastly, let's put in our foam. So I'm gonna loosen this up from the top and open it enough to be able to get my phone in there and then tighten it back down on the phone so that it is in nice and snug. There you go, the phone is hooked up now. So if I turn my phone over to the side over here, you can see there's a headphone jack over here. So my headphone jack for the receiver will go into my phone right here. And there you go. So now I've backed up the camera a little bit further so you can see the full setup. You got your tripod here, you got your cage here, your phone, your light, and your microphone. So this is the full setup in here, ready to film and vlog. It looks pretty cool. Also remember, I can unlock from behind and I can even make this a straight setup so you can vlog vertically if you'd like. Right, so you can do vertical, horizontally, and you can move this thing around. You can set the angles that you want. And when you're ready, you tighten it back up. So it's ready to film. And it's pretty nice. It's a, it's a very sturdy setup. I really like it and compact. So if you look at it, it's really compact, easy to vlog with, and it's a good quality material all around. And I really like it actually, it's really, really good. Now if you wanna take pictures from far away, you can actually turn on this little Bluetooth thing here and you can pair it with your smartphone and take photos from far away. And lastly, let's open up this wide angle lens here. It screws on to this little clip here, this Movo clip. If you look at the back of the lens here, you open this up and it gives you a little screw point and you can screw that onto the back of this clip. So with this clip, you're gonna align it to wherever the phone camera lens is and put it right over top and then let it go. So if your camera lens is right here, you just clip it onto there, you let it go and it will change your camera view from a regular angle to a wide angle lens 
which is great for vlogging. Some of the newer phones do come with wide angle lenses already built in, but my phone doesn't have that, so this will definitely come in handy for me. So as you can see, this is a really cool setup. It's great for filming, easy to hold and carry with you if you're vlogging on your own. You can easily hold this in your hand. It's not very heavy. It's quite light, quite compact. And if it's starting to get dark and I wanna light up my face, I can just turn on the LED light. And you can see it lights up my face. If I make it brighter, you can see my face is well lit. It looks really bright. So in the evening times or in a dark situation, you can easily light up your face when you wanna vlog and you can go around and you can see it keeps your face lit up nicely. So it's quite powerful. It's quite nice in that sense. And again, I got everything set up and going here. Technically, if this was running right now, I could be having a wide angle setup. I could have my microphone hooked up. I can have an LED light going. And if I want additional accessories, I can add them on. And that's pretty much a, a really good setup. Like my favorite thing about it is probably the cage. I love this cage idea that goes around your smartphone and gives you the ability to hook up so many different things to it. And also this cage could probably take the other camera that I'm recording with right now, which is my camcorder. And instead of the smartphone being hooked up here, I could probably even hook up my camcorder and use it in this setup as well. So there's a lot of different goodies and things you can do with this. You can get quite creative. But for me, having a kit like this is very useful as a YouTuber. I will be using this for many of my videos come the future and you'll probably be able to get to see the differences of using this type of a setup. So I hope you all enjoyed this review of the iVlog 4 smartphone video kit by Movo. I think this is an exceptional product. I would definitely recommend it. And you're getting a really good quality product and something that's easy to take with you mobile. And I'm pretty sure it's going to make my vlogging life a lot easier from here on out. So now I'm gonna get all the equipment ready to test outdoors starting with the microphone set. So both the transmitter and receiver require two AAA batteries. So when you open it up, you gotta put them in here and it shows that you gotta put a plus and a minus. So you gotta put the plus side over here and then minus side over here and then you can shut it and close it up, snap it into place. So you gotta do that both for the transmitter and receiver. Okay, I've put batteries in both, so I'm gonna turn them on now. Turn on both. And now if you look at both of them, this one here is the receiver, this one here is the transmitter. So when they are paired properly, the receiver stays on solid blue and the transmitter flashes every couple of seconds. So right now, this means that these two are paired and ready to use. If for some reason they are not paired, you gotta hold down the pair button on the transmitter and the plus minus button for volume on the receiver and you hold them both down for three seconds and then it will pair them together just in case it's not paired but it's supposed to come factory set paired up ready to go the next item you want to prepare is the lavalier microphone so the first thing you're going to put on there is the windbreaker so let me put that on so that just slides right over the microphone and that should block out any wind and then you got this little clip-on piece here that fits into this groove right here. So this little circular part will snap into the groove. Like so there it's snapped in right now. And then you can use that to put the microphone onto your shirt or wherever you wanna clip it onto. So now to finish off the setup, you would plug this into your transmitter over here like so. Then you put the transmitter on your belt with the belt clip and then you would bring up the mic and use the clip on the mic to clip to your shirt and then you're ready to go. So right here I put together a quick vlogging setup with the extension stick and without the cage for now. This is to film outdoors in the sunshine when you don't really need the light. You can set up this vlogging kit in various different ways and right now I could just attach the microphone receiver on top of the phone mount because there's a cold shoe mount right on top. So if I bring the phone holder close, you will see there's a cold shoe mount here and also a screw-in mount. So you have two different places you can mount. At the bottom section, there's another cold shoe mount right here. So you got multiple locations on the phone where you can mount various things on there. So right now, I will just put the receiver in the cold shoe mount. So here we go, putting it in and tightening it up. And this is the current setup. 
And of course from here you can plug it into the line out portion as so and then into your headphone jack of your cell phone so it's all hooked up ready to work and if you look at the receiver there's also another headphone jack in case you want to listen to your own audio you can plug in a headphone set into here so you don't have to plug it directly into your phone anymore so here I have set up one method I can do vlogging most likely in the daytime when you don't need the light without the cage with this particular setup the microphone is hooked up on top I've got the other mic hooked up to my shirt and is ready to be used. Now one more item I can add to this vlogging setup here is the 18 millimeter wide angle lens so that you can get my full face and more of the background when I'm vlogging. And with the wide angle lens on there, you have this setup here. So you got wide angle lens, you've got your receiver for the lavalier microphone and your smartphone camera ready to go. So this is a particular setup I'm gonna test out and see how it goes outdoors. The next item I'm gonna prepare is the Bluetooth remote. So let's turn it on. You see the light come on, so it's on now. And it's flashing. And on my cell phone, I will turn on the Bluetooth. And if you look at the available devices, this is the one right here at the top. That's the one I'm gonna pick. And it's pairing. And if I scroll down, it's gonna show it here is now connected. So now this is ready to take some photographs so we can test that out as well. The last item I wanna prep is my LED light. I just wanna make sure it's fully charged. It comes with a C port charging that plugs in with USB. And I have my own C port charger, so I'm just gonna plug that in. Okay, so I'm just gonna plug it in here. If you look at the back, you can see there's a red light on charging. So it shows the LED light is charging. Most likely it will turn green when it's done charging. Just in case I do need to film in lower lighting, I can easily just pop the cage back on. And with the cage, I can put the LED light right on top and leave everything else as is. The other cool thing about this Movo cage is that it has grips on both sides, on the left and right hand side. So you can hold it and, and you can vlog this way too. You can hold the side of the cage vlog for a little bit like this. And then if you want to change it up, you can grab the tripod section and hold it like this. So there's different ways you can film. You can potentially even take the tripod off and just hold the cage on its own. Okay, so I'm testing out the lavalier microphone for the first time. I am at Niagara Falls on the Canadian side, looking over at the American side of the border. Hopefully the microphone sounds clear to you guys. I'm gonna also do a panoramic around me. I've got my father with me, Chef Pops. Say hi, Dad. There we go. <laughs> and we go around in a circle. And you see all the way around. You can see the bridge on the other side. And then back to the falls again. Hopefully everything sounds nice and clear. And I thought this was a good place to test it out. Why not come to Niagara Falls and, and give it a go right here? Also, the other thing you should know is that I have the wide angle lens on right now. So you can see a good portion of the background. The camera is quite close to me, but you can still see a big portion behind me. Now I'm gonna take the wide angle screen off just so you can see the difference. So now without the wide angle, you see it's much closer. I've got it in my hand now. Remember this is the 18 millimeter wide angle lens. So that wide angle lens makes much better views for vlogging. So keep that in mind. Again, it shows that it's a good quality item to have and a, an important item to have for your vlogging kit. Okay, so now I put the wide angle screen on the back side of my phone. This is for when you're vlogging and taking in pictures of nature. Again, with the wide angle lens, I'm able to capture both portions of Niagara Falls very easily. The view is quite nice. And you can see there's actually a boat tour going one way and the other way. You can capture the whole scene, which is really beautiful. The other thing I'm gonna test out on here and I'll overlay the photos is the Bluetooth remote. I'm gonna take some pictures with Chef Pops and myself and you'll be seeing them right now as I'm speaking. And that shows that you can take pictures. You don't need to ask anybody to take them for you. And when you're out and about, it's very useful. Okay, so now I'm actually standing about 20 feet away from my camera and we're just testing out the distance of the wireless microphone. They said it's supposed to work up to about 200 feet away. 
I'm just doing something that's kind of practical for me. So if I was talking about the falls or making a documentary about the falls, if I'm standing about this far away, it should come clear. All the vo volume and the voice and the sound should come clear. So hopefully it is. I will check it after myself and enjoy the view. Look around you and see what's here. One last thing I would like to say once again is thank you to Mobile for sending this kit to me. It is quite useful. I'm having fun using it out here and I'm going to be using it more in the future. So for all of you who watch this video, thank you very much. And I hope you enjoyed everything I've shown you. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so and remember to hit the bell button so you're notified each and every time I post a new video. If you have any comments, leave them below in the comment section. And remember to share this video with all of your friends. Take care and we'll see you guys again next time. Peace out. Wow, follow that rainbow to the pot of gold.